Good evening and welcome to the Fan TV Midweek Update. Uh, starting off fairly quickly, here's Matt with the team news. That's right, team news this week. We have only got one piece of team, mu team news. Uh, that is that Dan Lane is out for th three to four weeks with a damaged shoulder muscle. Uh, he picked up that particular injury last Saturday in the hangar, uh, just before the, uh, sorry, during the warm-up, warm actually, uh, before the game against Slough. However, as one door closes, another door opens, in this case for Sam James, potentially uh, to step up as Damo's backup. OK, well, that's the end of the team news for tonight. Looking now around the league, three main stories have come out so far this week. Um, unfortunately, it's more bad news for the Telford Tigers. Jordan Bannon has asked to be released with immediate effect for his own reasons. Although Tom Watkins sounded fairly disappointed at the news um, regarding his departure, the comments from the fans so far this evening have been along the lines of, well, he didn't do much anyway, so that's no big loss. First rumour is that he could, he could actually be heading either to the Solihull Barons or the Sutton Sting. Matt, moving back up north, Sheffield Steel Dogs with some news. That's right, so they've uh, announced now the identity of their new import forward, uh, Czech forward Lubomir Kohon. Now he's played around a few different leagues in Europe uh, and he seems to average about a point or two a game so he should do pretty well over here. But I think the big question is really, is he the missing piece of the jigsaw for the Steel Dogs? Um, who really knows? I think Coach Pyatt seems to think so at this point anyway. Absolutely, and unfortunately for a lot of people he's not replacing Derek Campbell. Looks like he's in to replace Dimitri Rodin. So, um, again, some mixed news for the Steel Dogs there. And on signings, it was announced earlier this week that former Peterborough Dalrod Phantom defenceman James Hutchinson has signed for the Basingstoke Bison. Uh, this was announced uh, yesterday, and it's actually gained um, a lot of surprise and delight from the Bison fans. So, definitely some happy people down south. Well, for now, anyway. So, looking forward to the weekend. Uh, the Peterborough Darrod Phantoms do travel to the Spectrum in Guildford to face the Flames on Saturday. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Andrew Sharp uh, is looking for a bit of a uh, rematch against uh, Stadock from his last visit to Peterborough. Um, but uh, maybe we think Joseph probably will just continue to uh, carry on laughing at him. I think, we'll, I think we'll probably have to find that out on Saturday. Absolutely. Um, I, got admit, I think I know which way my money's going on that one. Um, I don't think we'll see any bruised hands. Um, Sunday actually sees the return of the Basingstoke Bison here to Planet Ice Peterborough and they'll be debuting their new to them signing, James Hutchinson. Now, looking forward to that game on Sunday, um, I think the ones to watch for the Basingstoke Bison, Stevie Lyle. Now, I've got to say for me, he is the best British netminder in any league today. Uh, that, I mean, looking at his numbers, you really can't argue that. Or can you? <laughs> well... Uh, I, to be honest, he's, he's obviously been very solid at the top of the league, so I think that probably says a lot for him. Uh, they've obviously got a strong team, but yeah, he's, he's definitely he's definitely up there. He's one of the top net miners, I think, just in, in Britain, I think, as well at the moment. Um, also, got to look out for guys like uh, Joe Miller, uh, obviously returning from injury, and Ollie Bronneman as well. I think the two of those got, uh, those two together, I think it's going to be uh, quite interesting to watch. Um, both. Can do can do a job up front, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, you know if, if, if you know what how they do against us. Mm, absolutely, and as we mentioned earlier, uh, the Bison will also be debuting their new to them signing, James Hutchinson. Now I've got to say I think he's going to be able to prove a point against his old team. Yeah, definitely. He's got a lot of supporters around the rink as well, so uh, it's not going to be a cold reception for him by any means. But yeah, he's definitely going to have a point to prove, um, and probably a few to score so we'll have to see hopefully he won't do too well against us um, but yeah certainly he's going to be fairly well received I would imagine Fair enough I don't think there's much doubt about that after Sunday best of luck in your new career with Bison Hutch after Sunday um, OK um, some news actually from the supporters club as well That's right the Peterborough Darrod Phantoms Supporters Club has uh, started to run a new deal uh, to get people to introduce some new members to the club. Um, for, so for every new member that, uh, that uh, a member um, introduces uh, who has not uh, previously been a member for the last two seasons will be entered into a raffle when, for when they sign up, well, they'll actually be entered into a raffle for a signed shirt. And that uh, particular um, deal is now running until the, I think it's the game preceding Christmas on the 23rd. So, yeah, so plenty of time there to get to, to bring some friends along, get them signed up, and, uh, yeah, just do it. 
Yeah, indeed. Uh, five pounds to sign up as a member, and you can find more information on that on the website, which is www.peterboroughphantoms.com. If you go into Fan Zone, and top link on there is for the Supporters Club. Now, also, um, we've got the Peterborough Dalrod Phantoms playing away, as mentioned earlier, in Guildford. And again, if you want to follow the action on that one, if you go to www.peterboroughphantoms.com, click Fan Zone again, but this time go to the forum. Uh, you should be able to keep up to speed on that one. And then, uh, well, that's Saturday, Sunday. That's right, Sunday sees Basingstoke Bison visit us here in the uh, Peterborough Arena. Um, and face off for that one is 5.30 pm. Tickets are £12 in advance and £13 on the door. Okay, well, there you go, that's it from us tonight. Um, We'll see you here on Sunday, 5.30. Enjoy the game. Good night. Good night.